The Israeli army killed Abdullah Neymar in June 2015, and now it wants $28,000 for damages to this jeep that crushed the 21-year-old. After his death, Abdullah's family filed a lawsuit against the Israeli state. The case continues. Then in January this year, the army billed the family. This is a copy of the lawsuit given to us by the family lawyer, Nayla Atiyah. They reopened our wound. They're so shameless that they're demanding compensation, not because they want the money, because they want to make it impossible for us Palestinians. It's not about the money. They want us to give in, but we say we have the right. You won't break us. In June 2015, there was a raid by the army in Kufr Malik near Ramallah that turned violent. The Israelis say Abdullah threw a firebomb at the jeep, which then swerved into him. For over three hours, the family says the army wouldn't allow medics to treat Abdullah as he lay beneath the jeep. He eventually bled to death. The entire village turned out for the funeral. Lawyers say asking for compensation is part of a new Israeli strategy to penalize Palestinians for any kind of resistance against the occupation. <laughs> Honestly, we're not used to seeing this sort of claim. But if you take it in context, where Israel is going when it comes to killings, fines and bills advanced in the Knesset, I think they're heading to a level where anyone who utters the word occupation can be harassed, arrested and possibly fined, as he might be considered to insult the state and its inhabitants. Al Jazeera reached out to the Israeli Ministry of Defense for comment. It says it has submitted a statement of defense to the court stating that the event in which the plaintiff was killed constitutes wartime activity as defined by the law, and therefore the state is immune from prosecution in this event. In the light of the damage that was caused to the IDF jeep as a result of the Molotov cocktail thrown by the plaintiff, the ministry has filed a countersuit. Abdullah is remembered very fondly here and he's seen as a martyr to the Palestinian cause. Graffiti of his face adorns the walls of the village, and people here say they'll never forget about him. The family say they'll continue to fight for justice for Abdullah, and they've named their newborn son after him. They say they would rather face whatever consequences there may be than pay the Israeli army any money. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Kufr Malik, Occupied West Bank.